Okay, what are you saying people? I hope you all had a nice Christmas, spent some time off and had some time to rest with your families. But it's that time again for another weekly analysis. Now on the screen are the 10 pairs we'll be analyzing today. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video if you're feeling generous. And also follow me on my Telegram channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below because I've posted a lot of different trading setups there throughout the week and you don't be missing out on that. And also check out my Instagram page. I'll leave the handle there. So we'll be posting a lot of different trading setups, a lot of different tips, tricks, and just general advice to help you become a better forex trader so make sure you go check all of that out links will be in the description but like i said it's another weekly analysis so let me stop talking and let's get into the video first up we've got euro usd Okay, so first up, we've got EURUSD on the daily chart. So, so far for this one, we had the move to the downside, which was expected uh, for this week. As you can see, we had previous resistance all across here with all those wicks. And I was saying last week, when we were all the way up there, we'll probably get another move to the downside, go test some previous resistance in the market, now turn daily support. And as you can see, we did get a nice push to the downside test in the area. Price hasn't actually broken the area, so it's still holding. So potentially, we could see next week give us another push to the upside, potentially. Um, back to the highs up here or maybe even another high because as you can see we're still in a bullish trend here so if price wants to make those high highs there's nothing stopping it so again we're holding that area potentially could be seeing another push to the upside if we do go and break that area of daily support now we could be in for a longer um a longer counter trend move as you can see we had a big move to the upside so far over 600 pips we're bound to see some deeper retracement happening and retracing those 600 pips so again like i've been saying around the 1.2 level where we've got resistance here send us to the downside again resistance there as well then we um, broke through it so this area here around 1.2 will be turned support now we then you could see a break of that level and price come to this area potentially then see price continue in uh, the upwards trend on the daily weekly and the monthly charts potentially or maybe you see price uh, come deeper to the downside but uh, for EURUSD we are still holding that and as long as we hold that I probably expect another push to the upside for EURUSD for the next week but if you do break this level I do believe you can potentially see a deeper retracement for this pair potentially to that 1.2 level so eyes on this level really potentially could see another push to the upside maybe a double top and see price fall back to the downside but as long as we hold there probably see another push to the upside and if you do break that area I expect the 1.2 area to round uh, to be tested by EURUSD next we're going to take a look at USD JPY Okay, so we used the JPY on the daily chart. We saw a push to the upside this week as expected. Like I said, uh, during um, a weekly analysis last week, we probably can see a move to the upside to go and test this area here as previous daily support and turn daily resistance. Last week, we made that lower low. So now we do expect some retrace to happen into a previous level. And you can see here, it's a really nice level of support acting uh, twice there, now acting as resistance there on the daily chart. So if we do hold this area, I probably expect another move to the downside for uh UCJPY back into the lows here where we wick down into here creates new lows so if we do hold this level around here if we do hold that level i do expect price to give us another move to the downside since we are in a quite um a quite choppy bearish trend here again do expect another move to the downside if we do hold this area but if we do break above we could be seeing a longer push to the upside uh, for this pair like i'm saying we do have this trend line in the market I'll be speaking about it for some time now. And again, we'll do that fifth test if we do break above this area um, of resistance. So again, initial test there, second, third, fourth. We'll do that fifth test if we do break above this area. So that's where I expect price to go for UCJBY. If we do hold this area, put it back down to the lows, back down to uh, 103. Uh, but if you do break the resistance, I do expect price to come into that area of the trend line. If you break uh, above that again, we'll probably see maybe a longer counter trend move for this pair, but I'm not gonna uh, jump into that just yet, probably speak uh, about that if we do get to that trend line. But again, probably for UCJY, if we do hold uh, underneath that resistance level, do expect potentially another push to the downside back to the lows, or maybe even a lower low for UCJPY. But if you break above that, I do expect a test, a fifth test of that trend line. And next we've got USD CAD. Okay, so we used the CAD on the daily chart. You can see we did get a nice strong push to the upside this week, as expected. I was saying uh, during my weekly analysis last week that I would expect a push to the upside for this pair. As you can see, recently we did break out of this strong area of resistance, had a really strong breakout to the downside, no real pullbacks, and we saw price give us that strong move. And then we're starting to lose momentum in this period here. As you can see, you start to see a lot of bullish candles, a lot of wits come into the market here. So kind of a lot of indecision, and you can see we're bound to get price uh, spring back to the upside and retrace some of that bearish move that we had when we broke out this area. We haven't 
quite got to test this area um, of previous daily support yet around 1.3 i still think there's room to the upside we did kind of test this area here where we wicked into it a couple of times previously as you can see we wicked into this area here wicked into it again there and price broke to the downside so that is an area of resistance and it has tested that and as you can see we've got that bearish candle on the daily from that area but i still believe there is room to move to the upside for usd cads there is a possibility because slowly roll over again because we are in a quiet bearish trend for usd cad so there is a possibility we could roll over back to the downside back to around uh, 1.27 back to this area maybe get a double bottom then we see that uh, price kick in but i still believe that the longer move is back to the upside and retrace give us a bit more of a counter trend move to retrace the uh the strong bearish move that we had recently you do have this trend line in the market here so again initial test there second third so again price might want to come back go and test that trend line potentially or maybe go and test this resistance here previous daily support now turn daily resistance so i still think there's room to the upside for usually cad but again there is a possibility and i won't be surprised if price does roll over again for usually cad back into the lows but then again that probably provides us a nice buying opportunity again and take that higher as long as we do hold uh, that previous low we made if we start making new lows then again potentially can see a longer move to use the for use to cad to the downside but again i think the longer move for us right now uh, with this price action we're getting strong impulsive move do expect some retrace and potentially uh, continuation back into that 1.3 level of previous daily support now turn daily resistance up next is euro gbp okay so for euro gbp on the daily chart we did see a big push to the upside for euro gbp early on this week then euro gbp came crashing down uh, to the downside so we still have this daily support area that we haven't quite broken out yet as you can see on thursday we did have that wick to the downside price pulled all the way back up and still held this level uh, so you can see i was saying that last week if you do hold this level um, this week we'll probably be seeing another move to the upside we did hold that level and we saw a big push to the upside we didn't create new highs but we did give us that wick to the upside and again it is showing that price is probably favoring now another further move to the downside since we're failing to really create new highs here you can see this level of resistance here we're getting all those wicks into that area price is really failing to push higher and now we're starting to gain that bearish momentum and i'm probably favoring a break of this support uh level for next week or potentially maybe the week after but i am favoring the longer move to the downside now for euro gbp uh into this area around here as you can see a really nice area of daily support here again very strong push to the upside acting as support support there again support there again so a really nice area of support on the daily chart i do expect a break of this area here and potentially a move back to this uh, area of support just because we're failing to create those highs this uh, market assessed this level numerous times now and we're eventually going to see a break of that and potentially another move uh, into this area here there is a possibility that we do hold and if we do hold this er level i'm probably going to be expecting another push to the upside maybe back into the highs here but since we've got all those wicks here, it does show that price is really getting rejected from that area and it's probably favoring a longer move to the downside back again uh for this market so i do expect the move to the downside uh for euro euro gp this week might see uh, a push to the upside as we retrace um, some of that bearishness that we had last week but i do expect the longer move back into this level to soon come for euro gp okay so up next we've got AUD USD. okay next up for AUD USD, we did get moved to the downside which was expected for this pair as you can see uh, last week we were back at the highs up here we did see a big push uh, this doji here is a nice area of support uh, on the daily chart as you can see we have this big pushy upside in the daily chart from this area here that kind of held with that doji and then from that doji we had that support which took us back to the highs uh, which took us to the highs um, up here so again we did see a move to the downside back into that same area uh, where we held with that doji previously we did see a wick all the way to the lows here we didn't really sustain it price came all the way back up again saw that bearish candle come into this area and the next uh, candle was bullish and from then the momentum looks like it's changed back to the bulls for AUSD on the daily chart so we are holding this area of uh, daily support here and potentially could be seeing another push back to the highs for AUSD back to the highs up here as you can see previous resistance sent us down could be seeing another move back into this area since we are uh, again uh, in a bullish trend for this one so again as long as we hold this level i do expect them to push the upside back to the highs maybe even another higher high for adusd but if again if we do uh, see price roll over break through this level we could be seeing um, uh, more of a counter trend move for this pair on the weekly chart you can see we do have this area which we have broke out of of weekly resistance and we didn't really see any pullback for this pair as you can see there's our resistance and that's the downside we broke out uh, didn't really see any um, pullback uh, at all really saw a lot of consecutive bullish candles to the upside so again you do expect to see some bearish weeks coming in for AUSD soon 
and maybe it tests at this level here or previous weekly resistance now turn weekly support and see price continues the upside if you do hold at that level so i do think uh, a bearish move is incoming for abusd soon maybe not next week maybe not the week after but i do expect um, a push to the downside into this area around here and on the daily chart you can see this area here pre resistance there but see it a little bit better so i do expect a deeper move into this area but again as long as we hold that support area we can easily see it another push to the upside for adusd since we are in the bullish trend is so for next week maybe we'll probably see price continue to the upside a little bit further back into the highs up there then potentially see price maybe run out of out of steam out of bullish momentum and roll over and if you do break for this level i do expect this level around here uh, at least 0.74 is our target for adusd for next week now let's take a look at nzd cad okay so for nzd cad this week we had uh, a retest of a previous area of daily resistance as you can see here this level here previous daily resistance held as daily support so that bearish candle come into this area and then another push to the upside so nzd cad in my opinion is still looking bullish here probably could be expecting another push to the upside back into the highs up here as you can see here's the highs where we had that big push to the downside so maybe see nzd cad come and really test this area maybe um, break above it a little bit and then see a push to the downside i still think we do we are due some bigger retrace for this pair as you see on the weekly chart we had a big uh, impulsive move to the upside let me measure that for a second as you can see over 500 pips there so again could be seeing a deeper retracement uh, for this pair to really come back into this area of resistance here i'll turn weekly support so i do believe the longer move is the downside but again we are in an uptrend so this could continue there's nothing saying it won't so there's a possibility you come and break through this area and create a new high but i still believe there is potential to the downside back into this area around here as you can see from this um, previous area of resistance we did see a very strong move to the downside there those two bearish days took us all the way down uh, to this level so i do think if we come into this area potentially could be seeing another move to the downside at least go and retest this area of support again kind of just have a little bit of a range going on uh, for entity cad but if you do break above this um area of resistance and hold there is a, obviously a possibility we can continue a lot further to the upside because the bullish trend will be continuing for entity cad but as long as we kind of stay under this area of resistance and uh, maybe have a few wicks trying to break through it i do believe we can get another move into this area here and if you break through that i do expect the test of this area down here around uh, 0 0.9 for entity cad next up we've got gbp nzd okay so the gp entity not too much happened this week for this pair in terms of direction we did see price kind of a gap to the downside it held that doji around here which is an area of support held that move and held that area and we saw another push to the upside but we still haven't broken through that strong uh, daily support now turn daily uh, resistance in the market here so uh, if i identify this level like so as you can see really strong area of support there support there again it was that whole move to the upside again support there now since we are trading underneath it acting as resistance as you can see we have had numerous tests at this level we did see this big um, bearish come to the downside from that same level um, of resistance so again it's a really strong area of daily resistance and we tried to break it um, uh, quite a few times now as you can see we've tested it once fell to the downside we had that gap test it again this week and we had quite a few wicks into the area so potentially could be seeing another push to the downside uh, for gpnzd back into this area where we gap to and we found that doji probably see a little bit better on the farley chart uh there again so there we've got the daily resistance so potentially could see a move back into this area on the farley chart potentially in a probably just have a range at that point for gpnzd between the daily resistance and uh this area here and if we do break through this area they'll probably see uh, a longer move to the downside but um because as you can see the gpnsd from uh, quite a uh, long time ago since april being in the bearish trend here so again if you do hold this area resistance and we see another push to the downside break through this area probably going to be expecting uh, a new low for gpnsd or at least going to uh, test the previous low that we made uh, all the way down there so for gpnsd we are starting to look bearish uh, from a daily point of view because of all those wicks at that previous area of daily support and daily resistance so i do believe you can see another push into the downside for uh, for this pair into this level here where we gapped but if you do break above and we sort of see a lot of bullish momentum coming to the market we can probably go and test this trend line here in the market here uh, as you can see in this test there second there so if you do break above this area i do expect at least a test of the trend line or maybe even further if you break through that uh, maybe back into the into this level around here but for gpnzd with the price action we're getting we are starting to look uh, a little bit bearish saying that we can't break through that level of resistance and probably could be seeing another move back into this area here and if you break through that level i do expect potentially a new low for gpnzd 
Next, we're gonna move on to CAD JPY. Okay, so for CAD JPY on the daily chart, we saw a push to the downside, which was expected um, for this pair. It looks like we're slightly retracing now with this couple of bullish candles that we're having uh, on the daily chart. But I still think the longer move is to the downside. As you can see with this pair, we're kind of still in that range. We've got the resistance up there and we've got the support there. So kind of just moving sideways, no real direction uh, in this pair. But I do believe the longer move is back to the lows down here for CAD JPY. And even from a weekly chart, we are still uh, in this bearish trend here. As you can see, making those higher lows, I mean, making those lower lows, sorry, and those uh, lower highs. And if I draw the trend line in, keeping us in this bearish trend, I connect the highs. So again, initial test there, second, third, and we kind of just wicked into it um, again um, for that fourth test. And we had that kind of even star pattern with the bullish candle in there, the doji, now the bearish candle. So again, I still believe from a week, even from a weekly point of view, we've still got to move into this area of support down there. And from a daily point of view, we've seen a uh, couple of bullish candles coming uh, to the upside there. So I, I still think that is a retrace and potentially could come to this level around here. As you can see, resistance there, resistance there, a bit of um, got those wicks there, so that's support there as well. So around 81, I do think we can potentially see maybe um, can you probably continue it a little further into this level, maybe even back to the highs. But I still think the longer move for us is to the downside for Kaji Y. And this bullish move here is just a retrace. And we see uh, a nice continuation uh, back to the downside for this pair. So the Kaji Y, my bias is still to the downside, still looking at bearish uh, move for this pair. Could see a bit more of a deeper retrace potentially, but I still think we're coming back into the lows here uh, for CAD JPY. Up next is GBP USD. Okay, so for GBP USD this week, again, still looking messy, but we did see a push to the upside, uh, which I was expecting to. We did see that whole wick to the downside back to the lows here, but we did see that move to the upside. Um, we were at the highs um, back here when I was speaking about it during my week analysis last week. I did say we'll probably see some retrace in the market and then see price continue uh, to the upside and we did see that happen again we did see this wick all the way to lows here which again i didn't expect that to happen but we did see um price continue to the upside so we're still looking bullish for this one price is still respecting this key level here uh 1.33 still respecting this level again acting a resistance here support all along there numerous wicks into this level and you can see we're really respecting it so um, I still believe the bias is to the outside for GPUSD. Again, we are at the highs now, so wouldn't be looking for buys there, but we do expect price to retrace a little bit. Potentially you could see price maybe come back to that 1.33 1 level again. That'll be a nice place to look to buy back into the market, expecting another push to the upside. But I still believe from a higher time frame point of view, from the weekly and from the monthly, again, we do have that morning star pattern. I still believe that we can potentially see a break of this level of resistance here. Finally, I see a longer push to the upside for GPUSD from a monthly point of view. Obviously, that's more long term, but the immediate uh, view for GPUSD is still to the upside. I do expect to see some retrace this week. As you can see, we did see that wick into this level showing rejection there from the highs. So again, do expect to see some retracement there, but I do expect a longer move for GPUSD is still to the upside for this pair. And last we've got GBP CAD. Okay, so for GBP CAD for this week, we did see price gap down and give us a nice push to the upside. We capped around this area here. As you can see, we had this wick into this area. Then we saw price give us a strong push to the upside to go and test. Um, the trend line in the market. I was saying last week, we do expect a test of this trend line this week. Uh, and as you can see, we did get a test of this trend line here. So again, numerous tests on this trend line. We test it again this week. And from now, I do expect price to give us a move to the downside. We're also testing uh, this resistance here, which gave us this move to the downside. So not only are we testing the resistance there, we're also testing this trend line. And you can see we've got a couple of wicks into those areas. So we are showing rejection. We are showing prices struggling to break through those areas and do expect a push to the downside for GBCAD, mainly to this area around here, as you can see here previous resistance all across here, really strong level of, of support, sorry, and probably see a nice move into this area of support potentially uh, for daily for the daily chart. Probably won't be happening next week, this whole move, uh, but I do expect some push to the downside for GBK for next week. If you do get above that resistance and above that trend line and hold, I probably expect more of a breakout to happen for this pair and probably see a longer push to the upside, maybe back um, up to the highs up here around 1.8 for GP CAD. So that is uh, a potential, as you can see from a weekly point of view, we are still kind of just moving sideways for this pair. There's no real uh, clear direction to kind of just moving up, down, up, down, just moving sideways. So a breakout is going to happen eventually for this pair, whether to the downside or to the upside, we're not sure yet. 
but if we do break above uh, this area of resistance and break above that trend line and hold i do believe that breakout could be happening soon and see a, a longer push to the upside maybe to the highs um all the way up there but for now more of a short term short term goal we are holding that resistance we are showing rejection and we're holding that trend line so i do expect to move to the downside for this pair back into the lows all the way down there okay so that's the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it and found it useful if you have any questions or you agree or disagree with my analysis just put it in the comments and i'll make sure i'll get back to you but like i said it's the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it and until the next one i'll see you later